The visible surfaces of the run flat shields are generously lubricated. This step is crucial. The run flat shields are fully closed using the remote control. The tire is positioned in front of the run flat shields. Hips attached to the crane lift and position the tire on the run flat shields. Strap is passed around the run flat inside the tubeless tire. The strap must be exactly at the top and center of the tire. The strap is secured to piston number three with a hook. The assembled pipe on piston number three is removed. The piston is retracted using the remote control. Lubrication ensures the run flat easily fits inside the tire. The run flat is pushed slightly forward to center its post. A notch on the run flat is aligned perfectly in the center. The run flat shields are slowly and evenly closed via remote control. Hooks lift the tire and place it onto the run flat shields. The shields are gradually and evenly opened slightly to the left and right. The tire is manually moved side to side to check its stability. It should not move. The security shield is lubricated and inserted through the tire opening, first from the top, then the bottom. The security chain is wrapped around the shield and fastened to the other run flat shield. Piston number three is pushed forward gradually until the run flap touches the security shield, then fully inserted. The run flap shields are closed and the tire is lifted from them using hooks. The bolt nuts of the tire rim are removed. The chain of the triple holder is attached to the crane. The tire is lifted using the crane and placed on piston number four using the triple holder. The triple holder is detached from the crane and the spider chain is attached. An apparatus is placed on the piston to secure the spider. It should not be tightened too much. Piston number four is raised by a remote control, ensuring it passes through the hole in the center of the spider. The spider legs are positioned on the tire, remaining outside the rim without touching. Pressure is gradually applied using the remote, separating the two-piece rim.
Hooks are used to fully remove the rim and their chains are attached to the crane. The tire is lifted from piston number four and placed on the ground. The tire is flipped upside down using wedges underneath it. The flip tire is lifted with the crane and triple holder, then placed back onto piston number four. The spider is reattached to the crane and placed onto the tire. It is then detached. Piston number four is raised again through the spider, securing it with an apparatus that should not be over tightened. The spider legs are placed on the tire, ensuring they stay outside the rim. The piston applies pressure with the spider, fully separating the rim from the tire. The triple holder is attached to the crane, ensuring the tire is lifted evenly and placed onto the rim. The spider is used to attach the other part of the rim. The spider is connected to the crane and placed onto the tire. Piston number four is inserted through the center and slightly tightened with an apparatus to secure it. The spider arms are positioned outside the rim frame. Creating a gap to fit the rim's piece properly. 